It's Casey Neistat right there. Right there. There's actually no reason why I'm dressed up like this. No, no, it's because you're going to Soho. What's Soho? Arty District. I guess City. I'll fit in. The actual reason why I'm wearing this is because I literally don't have any other clothes, unfortunately. I've already been to the 9-11 Memorial, but mum and dad haven't been, so we're going to go there. Then I guess we'll just figure Greenwich it out Village. from there. Greenwich Greenwich. Yeah. Greenwich, whatever that is. I still feel like I'm half asleep. And I was thinking about going to get a coffee, but my tongue's still burnt from like three days ago. I didn't realize how long it would take for it to actually recover. It's still burnt. Guess I'll have to go another few days without a coffee, unfortunately. Thanks for that, man. Thank you. Using the umbrella to create shade for us so the lighting's really consistent with it. That's cool. Model shots. Oh my god, that was the creepiest thing ever. So we were sitting down, we were just eating and stuff, and this old lady goes to the bathroom, and pretty much dad needed to go to the bathroom. It was the weirdest thing, because dad was just like, I was sitting there, looking at the bathroom the whole time, no one left that room. I was watching the whole time, I was sitting there, and I was watching it. And she never left. No one left. She was totally still in there, so dad was like, okay, I'll just wait for her to finish. He waits outside the door for like half an hour, and we're just like, okay, what's going on? So dad asks them the manager to go and check up on her and see if she's okay. Manager opens the door and no one's there. There's, there is nowhere for her to have gone. There was no one there. It was so weird. Like she just vanished and I, I was watching the whole time. She didn't leave at all. That is insane. Is there really nobody in here? What? <laughs> what? That's crazy. She's just gone! That is so creepy! That is so weird! She looks like a little English lady with a, a hat, a down Britain hat. And sunglasses, yeah. I was facing the bathroom, like it, it literally, I, just looking at the bathroom the whole time. Oh, that's so that's creepy. So uh, let's, let's, let's get out of here, this is so weird. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus! Have a nice day! So we're back here at the 9-11 memorial, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go up the Freedom Tower, which looks over the memorial. So when there's a rose that's placed on one of the names, that means that it's their birthday. Like it would have been their birthday. This is the Freedom Tower up here. It's built so it was the same size as the Twin Towers from bottom to top. This is the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, up to the top. I snapped a few photos, got like a new cover photo for my YouTube channel, so I'm happy about that. That's Casey. It is. It's Casey Neistat, right there. Right there. That's insane. Is that really him? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Oh my god, you can go talk. I want to go. Can we pull over? I'm not even kidding. You his name, you his name. No, we're on the other side of the road. You uh, should get out now, Hayden. Just yell out to him. Hey, Casey! Casey Neistat. How's it going, bro? I'm Hayden Pearson. Nice to see you! <laughs> nice to see you too. <laughs> what? That's like his idol. Oh my god! Oh. No way! Oh man. Did you actually get a video of him? Oh, please. Yeah, I was recording. Oh, I was oh recording. no, imagine if something is off. Oh, is your mic on? It's a mic on. 
Yep, the mic's oh. on. <laughs> Before I came to New York, I was going to message him. I was going to ask if I could like maybe collaborate with him. Like, obviously, there's no chance. I've got 200 subscribers. He's got nearly like 8 million. Just the fact, I was just like, imagine if I saw him out here the whole time. I've just been thinking, imagine if I saw him. He just comes over like... He's, he's the guy that has the sunnies. Yeah. On he, YouTube. He, he, That's probably one of the best moments of my life. I'll never forget that. And one day, now now my next goal is to be on level with him so I can collaborate with him. Casey, awesome. if you see this, hit me up. So I'm like you, I'm a filmmaker. Thursday, 29th of June, around two o'clock, this happening. happened. That's what I'm gonna remember. I've bumped into him, I've bumped into Christian Guzman, and that's about it. What I say is, you work as hard as you can until your idols become your rivals. Casey's the one that actually inspired me to start vlogging and stuff, so. The chances of me running into him while I'm in New York for five days out of the whole city happened to cross paths with him. There's definitely a lot of character in here. I feel like I'm underground or something. It just looks so interesting. This place kind of reminds me of Harry Potter a little bit, like platform nine and three quarters kind of thing. That's all right. That's literally the first camera that I don't know how to use. <laughs> I don't know how to use any SLR or anything like that. I've never seen a pink Polaroid like that before. Thanks, man. Uh, after that, I feel kind of sick. I hope I haven't been food poisoned or anything, but we're off to Soho Village where we're gonna do some shopping or whatever. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I got another pimple. This pimple has been growing over the day. It has become maximum size. I just really want to pop it, but... So this is Soho Village, apparently. Mum, I can't see many shops. No, they're down here. They're on the other side of the road. Okay, they're down here. Sweaty Betty. That's a really convincing name. Sweaty Betty. <laughs> Who would want to go into that store? Look how thin the building is. That is so thin. Listen to that. There's literally nothing that these drivers can do. They're just beeping. I swear they're just beeping for no reason because one person's beeping, the other people start beeping and because some of the other people just start beeping because they don't want to be the ones that are left out, the outliers, they just want to beep as well. So everyone just kind of feels like a family. Everyone's just beeping, beeping. It doesn't make any sense at all. And that person back there also just winded up their window because they saw that I was coming along. <laughs> Always got a plug. I need to get another top and I need to get new pants. So hopefully I can find something in here. Alright, got what I wanted. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm pretty exhausted. Probably head back out to that. Probably head back out to Times Square tonight. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But alright, we're heading back to the apartment. Let's just chill out for a bit. I'll skip to the part where we're actually doing something right now. All right, now we're gonna do something. I love New York. It's literally the only thing that I can think of that I don't like. When you walk past some of these sewerage places, they, they're, they're pretty much like all over the place and it just stinks so bad. But it's the only thing I can think of that's bad about it, so I guess it's not too bad. We're heading to another very nice restaurant that I couldn't afford Good myself, money. so Dad is paying for Good it. Money. It's gonna be a treat. Oh man, I'm full. That was the best thing ever. Oh, that lamb was more out of this world. Anyway, we're off to Times Square now. Mom, have you had a bit to drink? Mom's been on the court. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fine. Where I'm just up looking at you? the NBC. Mom, where are you? The Rockefeller. NBC Rockefeller Plaza. I love how you had to be all serious and like think about it when you're talking to me because you're so off your face. <laughs> what do you sound like? Cut. This is the timeline for all of the people yeah. who have hosted The Tonight Show. So it started with Steve Allen, Jack Parr, Johnny Carson, Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien. Is that a loser? Well, no, a loser? because 2009 to this, 2010, no, he only got lasted a year. How come he only lasted a year? <laughs> you're just... Just you really say he's mean. a loser? But he only lasted a year. You're Jay a bully, Leno. mom. <laughs> you're a bully. <laughs> you're a savage, mom. And then there's Jimmy Fallon, of course. <laughs> the man. So what's a recap on the crazy things that have happened while I've been in America? I lost two GoPros and then I found them. 
specific ocean. In the specific ocean. In the specific? In the specific. In the Pacific. I know, it, Dad, it's a joke. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm obviously joking. <laughs> then there's the Casey Neistat thing. Oh, that, that was that was insane. The fact that Dad had that back problem is the reason why I actually saw oh, Casey. Yeah. So everything happens for a reason. There hasn't really been anything else. Just being in America, being an American by itself is just, especially being able to come out, see some friends that we haven't, we pretty much haven't seen since we were about five years old and see my original house, which I left when I was five years old because of 9-11. That was the coolest thing. Coming out here, it's pretty much like I've seen it for the first time and it's just amazing. I just love the scenery. It's, it's literally like its own little world. It, I, I've never experienced anything like it. Comparing it to Melbourne as a city, just Melbourne's like here when it comes to like things being grand. And Melbourne's much more chilled, but then when you come to New York, it's just a whole new level because there's just so much energy, so much stuff going on, just people going everywhere. I can definitely see myself living here sometime in the future, hopefully. But anyway, back to now, we're at Times Square. This takes the cake. Dad used to work for NASA. He knows like all the stuff about space and stuff. But no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. He actually did work for NASA though. Tell them that you work for NASA. You yeah, did we, work we, for NASA. We did some work for NASA. All the, all the cameras are on the, the astronauts. Yeah. Dad made cameras for NASA. And, that, and did you know that your name is on a circuit board that's on the space station going around the Earth every, yeah. every 90 minutes? You did You did tell me that once. That is pretty crazy. So from the International Space Station, because this is so lit up, they can see Times Square from space. They can just see the lights. That's how bright it is. Because obviously, I can tell. Yeah. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> I should probably uh, pay more attention. I'm going to get hit by a car soon. I thought Venice Beach was bad with weed. Watch out, watch out, watch, watch out. out for the ice cream van, everyone. It's a lethal weapon. It's filming a music video. That is cool. That, that would be a sick backdrop. I like that. I'm just, oh shit. Just trying to annoy everyone. Your smile, it's the same as his. <laughs> That's funny. That's the best one. <laughs> Total fat. What is... <laughs> Are you trying to rip my board? This is pathetic. <laughs> doesn't even do anything. <laughs> Stop, mom. Like <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Oh, no. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Make America erect again. <laughs> I want to be in the vlog. I got a YouTube channel. What is it? Hayden Pedersen. That's what it's called. That's my name. So you put it on, you're gonna be like, yo, New York City. Yep. Like, I'm not from I, here. I, I almost I'm a tourist. There. Where, where are you from? North Carolina. What's your favorite thing about New York City? I've been here for eight hours. Meeting new people, bro. I love that. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know I'm very, I'm very lucky. Yeah. Well, no, that's what, awesome. What's, what's your name? Rich. Rich. All right, Rich. Yeah, we're we're not talking about New York City. YouTube, am I gonna go viral? This is gonna go viral. You'll go viral. Yeah. You're gonna go viral. You're gonna go famous. You're gonna go famous. Oh you can like, Wait, what's your name? <laughs> what's your name? Hayden Pedersen. Hayden, I'm gonna say Hayden P. Hayden P. Hayden P. Hayden P. Hayden P. Hayden P. That's it. Uh, Have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. Love it. We're heading back to the apartment now. I haven't had enough, but everyone else has, so yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, shut up. I'm trying to vlog here. Right. Please help. It's been a great day, so that's the end of the vlog. I'll catch you guys next time.